these are the matches that I played for the Dive Kick Infinite League. Um, it's a round robin with six total players, so I played uh, five different matches here. And uh, I'm maining Kenny for this uh, set of matches. I picked the dive gem, or sorry, the kick gem here because Kenny relies on meter um, for his air special, and his air special is really good. So I want to be able to build meter as fast as possible, and but I also want the movement uh, to be able to kind of get in front of uh, Mr. N. Uh, that's a character that Hansen is playing. Uh, Mr. N can is pretty quick and can try to get above you really quickly, and he has to basically sit on you to attack you. And so his approach is really important. And using the kick gem, I want to try to uh, basically try to pressure his approach towards me so that he can't set up a very good high jump. Um, in the meantime, hopefully all that movement is going to generate me meter, and I can use that to use my air special. As you just saw there, it allows me to pause in the air. It also shoots out a homing bullet, which if it hits the other character, it will freeze them for a second. Um, as Kenny, you're a random stance character, and you aren't sure who you are every round until you start moving. And your game plan has to adjust with whoever you end up rolling. Right now I'm redacted, and I pull off a very good delay there um, to hit Mr. N as he comes in. Now, depending on who I roll, that my strategy might change, um, but in general I'm basically trying to stop Mr. N from approaching easily and building meter easily. Once Mr. N has a lot of meter, they can start using their air special to mix me up a lot. Um, they also have a ground special that allows them to run backwards, but I haven't seen uh, Hansen use it too much just yet, but once he does, I'll, I'll point it out. Um, now, I'm kind of headshot as uh, Kenny, and this is really bad because uh, one, I'm obviously slower, but two, I'm also not able to build meter for uh, the first four seconds, which keeps me further and further away from my air special. And uh, Kenny wants to have his air special, so he has options in the air to either adjust, turn around, um, or even just let the bullet go to, uh, to get a freeze. Now, let's see how Hansen uh, changes his approach here. Looks like he's being a little bit more patient. Um, as stream there, I was trying to kind of bait him to come in, and uh, on the last uh, attack, I'm able to get him to come in close enough for me to get a counter kick. Oh no. This is really good for Hansen, knocking away all my meter. Um, let's see if he can uh, tie this up for a second headshot. I'm stream now, so this is pretty good with the. Uh, <laughs> whew. Um, I back up hoping that uh, I can get out of the range and, or pull him in for a kick. It doesn't look like he did, but I was trying to time his uh, land and jump, and I covered the jump up, and it was just it was just far enough. I was really, really slow. Though. Really, really close game, though. Stream again. Lots of stream this one. Ooh. Very good fake there by Hansen, um, using his air special to delay and then catching me as I tried to, tried to punish him from falling. This set is now tied 1-1, and I'm going to have to try to adjust because uh, Hansen's using his air special well, so I'll have to not uh, not give in, and that might give uh, allow him to you know, fall without any threat, me threatening him on his uh, on his landing. That was an S-kill stance. I don't think I've seen that uh, in a while, so uh, S-kill is a double jump character. Right now I have Markman just missing the over. Oh, missing the over again. Looks like I'm hunting for headshots here or just pressing buttons because I am missing by pixels. Alright, I'm in redacted now. Get a delay in there. Yep. Able to hit a falling Mr. N who didn't have enough meter. I guess he had one meter for a very small float, but uh, once he gets below redacted, it's going to be pretty bad. I think I got greedy for the headshot there, trying to use the air special delay just enough to try to hit the head, but I kicked a little too early and went, went over. I still got the kill, so that's good. And I'm up 4-0 here. Okay, I'm also Mr. End. I use the um, bullet to turn around. Unfortunately, Hansen quick on the reflexes get out, gets out of the way and counter kicks me. And I'm now headshot. Classic approach by Mr. End, just coming in using the float to, to gauge the situation. Luckily, I'm able to get out of the corner there. And as Sensei, I'm going to try to build up that meter. Looks like I got it now. Might start to come in with a, with a delay attack. He's got no meter. Yep. If he's got no meter and he kicks, he's dead. Alright, up to one 
Um, I want to recognize all those situations where Mr. N has no meter because that allow me to basically not have to think about if he's going to to do an air pause or not. Yes, from above. Round one. All right, first roll stream. Lots of stream uh, this set. Then we go for it. Oh man, yeah, it's a bit too far and too slow. Uh, Hansen was able to land and counter kick me there. I think that's dive. Yeah, it's dive. Not as fast as kick. Good freeze there. Um, no meter to do the float, so just aim for the kick and it should be just fine. Uh, a little bit of Jafali here. Oh, I think I just missed a kick there, but uh, able to get on the jump, but. I should have been able to get on the kickback there. Actually, I think um, Mr. N could have floated there and not kicked. Um, in any case, if uh, I also had it uh, the out of using my um, air special to delay, unfortunately, my approach to his concussed was very bad, and uh, I get myself concussed. All right, safely just backing up. I'm not sure if I wanted a backup build meter there, but it looks like I was trying to pressure the approach as Mr. N tried to chase me down. Oop. Looks like I'm uh, S kill here, and I think those little beeps that you just heard was me um, accidentally all tabbing out of the situation, and I lost control. I kind of got back into the screen and came back though. Oop. That's probably input error. Oh, I still get the freeze though, and able to finish it off cleanly for a 3 1 set win. Um, as redacted, sometimes I'm pressing the buttons too fast, and unfortunately, the uh, air special tends to come out like on that first jump. Um, but in this case, the bullet was out long enough, curled around, and was able to freeze Mr. N. All right, this next match is against Sage Saintly, and looks like he's going S kill. And this particular matchup, S kill's meter is better than Kenny's meter. Um, S kill's offensive threat relies on his kick factor which allows gives him teleport jumps as well as trick which is a teleport attack and i'll want to kind of move forward a little bit faster and not just stay out uh, stay back and build uh, meter because i don't want eskel to build uh, his meter that quickly you'll see um as i'm opening my rounds here i'll tend to do a jump up and then a kick uh, normally as kenny I'll try to do a kickback into a, uh, I call it KDK, which is kickback, dive, and then kick. Um, and usually what happens is, if your character has that only has one jump, you'll do uh, a kickback and then a kick. But if you have two jumps, you do a kickback, a jump up, and then a kick. And it does save me from losing too much space if I am a double jump character, and it doesn't matter if I'm a regular character. But in this particular matchup, you'll see me um, start a lot more with a jump up and a kick. It's a lot more risky if I'm someone like Kong and I go too far, but it allows me to kind of get the jump on S kill, who I want to stop from over here. Looks like I'm doing well, though. Um, I get a 5-0 this first uh, game. I'll probably re-roll this stage. I don't like the rain, as I've stated before, so I may uh, go to character select screen here. Oh, it looks like he's going for a switch anyway, so uh, we hope we'll get a new stage in any case. I'm supposed to be going um, Kenny since I'm not supposed to be switching here, since I won. I'm sticking with the kick jam. Um, there's only certain players or certain characters that I want to go dive jam against that's like Baz and Shoals. I'm trying to think of who else, but most of the time I want to go kick jam so I can build that meter well with Kenny. Against Dive, you kind of have to figure out if he's going to be aggressive or going to sit back. Um, if he is aggressive, you really have to watch your meter build. Um, if he sits back, then you just have to, to, to get, uh, get some space and start building meter, and then coming in once you have enough meter. Um, St. Lee does a velocity there. Unfortunately, my second uh, kick gets there a little bit fast. Ooh, good turnaround there for the uh, headshot. It's one of the tricks I like to use whenever I'm a high jump character who has a steep kick. I like to jump above them, aim behind them so they can't kick back, and then bust a turnaround to hit them in the head. Alright, looks like I'm uh, <laughs> Jafali there with a double boom kick, so that's always pretty strong. 
Six. Oh, oh, looks like I'm Jafeli again. Oh, pretty good roll there. Jafeli with the double boom kick is just really, really good. And to get two rolls there uh, to close it out is pretty lucky. All right, we'll see if um, St. Lee goes with another character change. Doesn't look like it so far, but could just be us um, chatting you know, over Discord as we uh, play our matches here. Looks like there will be a character select. You hit random. Ooh, oh, looks like it's the bass. Okay, I will go dive jam here. Looks like St. Lee's going kick jump. Nope, going to dive jump. Nope, kick jump. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, the lower that Baz is, the easier it is for me to, to jump up there and catch him. Although I probably don't have as much experience against the speed of the swing now. Now that he has kick jump. All right, looks like I'm Markman here, which is not a great roll because I don't have, uh, I can't build for uh, precision mode since I can't find items. All right, stream. This is a pretty good roll against Baz. I'm gonna try to get close and do a, a mid kick and ch chase him down. Ooh, I think I dropped my input there. I was gonna try to continue my kick using my air special to extend it, but it looks like I dropped the kick. Ooh, pretty good turnaround there, but I was late on canceling the air special. I wanted to basically turn around and give him a kick, but I held the button a little too too long. S kill's got a pretty good uh, attack in terms of defense, but offensively, it's not that great. Luckily, uh, St. Lee um, kind of just jumps a little bit low, and I'm able to get him with a teleport kick there. Ooh, a little bit too close on my approach as uh, Mr. N. Uh, I might have uh, not been pressing the buttons fast enough because I was in kick factor mode. Oh, great, great low lightning there by St. Lee, catching me coming in. I did not think he would be able to get that off. All right, Jafeli here, just enough meteor. I think I'm just going to charge and try to force him out of the corner. Looks like I'm going to get a um, kick factor here. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, I'm not sure he can get out of that. All right, looks like dive, just rush down. Oh, yeah. Um, he needed to kind of uh, delay in the air there um, on the last jump, but he lets himself fall and able to just chase him down. All right, next match is against uh, Mostilist, and luckily, last time I misspelled his name, but I uh, spelled it correctly this time. And I'll be uh, going Kenny again. Let's see who Mostilist picks. Looks like there was a little bit of a connection issue right at the beginning, and even as you're looking through this menu, you kind of see it sliding around a little bit choppy. But hopefully it uh, clears up as we go into the match. All right, we're going to see another dive character. Same game plan of trying to watch to see what kind of dive they're playing uh, and how much room I have to build meter. There's that connection uh, spin again. All right, looks like I'm Sensei. I'm staying back. Probably just trying to build meter. He came in. Ooh, I missed the kill there, though. Looks like he's uh, kind of come in slowly, but, but pushing forward. As Eskil there, um, doing a, a nice back jump uh, allows me to dodge the attack, and just jumping up allowed me to counter attack. I missed the turnaround, but quick enough while uh, Dive Concussed to get the second kick. <laughs> I think I had a lot of meter there, so I thought I could be uh, a little bit safe with a bit, a bit more of a yellow kick, but I don't hit my air special to stop like that. <laughs> and I ended up getting killed, but in this time I get it off correctly and able to corner dive really quickly. Oh, here comes the missile from uh, stream. Always nice to see a uh, kick factor from stream. <laughs> um... Hopefully, I uh, I think I do try to switch out of this stage at least. Um, we'll see if I uh, go to the character select screen here. Yeah, I do. So I'm still going to be picking Kenny, but uh, just wanting to reroll stage. Looks like we're still just going to stick with Dive here. Alright, looks like we're in Heavenly Arena. It's actually the home stage for 
Kenny. Kenny's backstory is that uh, he was a player that uh, picked random select a lot, and uh, he passed away, and that's why he's got that halo above his head, and this is the heavenly stage. I always thought that the uh, audience in the background kind of looked like the Nidhogg audience, and so I'm thinking this is the honorary stage for Nidhogg as well. Alright, looks like I'm dive as well. Sometimes it's hard to tell um, if I'm either dive or kick. I know kick has a, a lower kickback, but sometimes it's hard to tell when watching the game. Okay, stream, about to get kick factor. Oh, that was a great arc by Mostilis. Basically killing my kick factor on uh, as it came out. I should have been uh, as uh, free. Once he got, uh, as Dive got meter four arc, I should respect the fact that he can catch up to me at any point if I uh, commit too hard. Ooh, that was a really bad... Uh, <laughs> Really bad freeze on my end. Usually if I'm Shoals, you want to be able to uh, run your air special a little bit higher than that. I was a bit too low. I barely get that special out. I think uh, Mostilis almost got the kill uh, right before I got the bullet out. Mostilis has a lot of meter now, could get a kick factor. Nope. Unfortunately not able to activate it just yet. Um, I'm usually always looking to see if they're about to get activate kick factor, and I try to... I want to say rush, but try to time my kick with them uh, really wanting to build meters so that I try to catch them as they're activating kick factor. Well, still this goes for a character change here, I think. I'm gonna slap some sense into you. Looks like he's gonna go Redacted. Um, Redacted has a lot of speed and can end up pressuring Kenny's meter build. Um, we'll see how Mostilis wants to play it though. Um, the one thing that I have to worry about is Feral. Um, depending on which character I roll as, Feral can be um, something I have to watch out for because uh, being able to have that low uh, hitbox is going to be a problem for like Kung and other characters. Alright, not the best roll as Markman, but able to catch a landing redacted there. That looks like I'm dive right now. Feeling pretty good again as dive against redacted. Uh, I don't. I don't think I was gonna try to build meter. I'm just gonna try to use my normals. Oh, stream again. A little bit slower stream, and I don't have flame bait like the regular stream. So I'm gonna try to build up my uh, kick factor here. Ooh, I, I do a little uh, input error and let the bullet go. Unfortunately, it does hit him, so I just move up for the kill. Uh, okay, Mr. N definitely want the meter here. Looks like I'm building it pretty quickly. I get it, I come in, going for a delay and get the kill. Fraud detection warning. Fraud detection warning. Have enough meter, I might uh, be a little more aggressive on my approach here with a jump forward, yep. Looks like I'm um, dive, oh, no, actually that might have been kicked. Either way, I'm able to get a, uh, a delay to watch him come down from his kickback and just hit the landing. All right, this next set is against Tackback. Uh, looks like Tackback is going Fencer. Um, cool thing in this particular matchup with the Fencer and Kenny is that the Fencer can't really hit Kenny if he's standing normally, just because um, Kenny's really short. I'm sorry, uh, he can't hit Kenny with a sword unless he's really, really close. Um, and so as Kenny, as long as I don't jump, I should be able to dodge a, a thrown sword. But um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, main game plan against Fencer is defend the sword if you can uh, with your first uh, kick. If Fencer is able to get sword, play on your side. Let him throw it past you or hit you even. Basically, you just want to separate him from his sword. Once you do, then Fencer doesn't have uh, an end game to like work up to. As Kenny, you can work to kick factor or you can get a meter for specials. Fencer doesn't get... Uh, he has a special without any meter, so he can do both of his specials. Um, I jump there, I get hit by the sword. If I was standing, it would have, it would have went right over me. Um, but Fencer also doesn't have a good kick factor. His kick factor allows he, him to pass you to win, but if you're already defending against the pass, it's totally just fine. And, and basically, you want to force um, Fencer to come to you. Um, since they can't build another advantage if you don't do anything. Looks like I have kick factor here. I might be pretty aggressive with it. It's usually the bad play, but um, sometimes I get too aggressive. I'm a naturally offensive player, so uh, sometimes my style gets the better of me, even if there's an optimal play to play the matchup. 
Shefali's pretty good here. I have to watch out for him rolling underneath the drop kick though. I'm going for a charge here, but I'm, I might not uh, do that next time. I feel like if I have a larger charge as a Feli, uh, it just gives more room for Fencer to sneak underneath. Um, since I'm not really having to pressure like uh, actual attack, I just have to defend. I might be better not to build up a kick as Jafeli. This from above. All right, let's see if I can defend that center sword. Oh, I did see the roll. Unfortunately, I did a KK instead of a DK. Nine will hit. There goes a sword uh, hit going over me. Uh, good catch by Tackback, um, seeing I went in a little bit too far, getting a high jump and a kick to punish me. Looks like I'm S-kill. That second jump was pretty good, but uh, unfortunately not able to get the kill. Um, he hits me in the air with the sword, but it's kind of good for me since the sword is now on my side again. Oh, that most likely was me trying to use my double kick really quick to punish. Uh, doing them puts way too fast and just uh, hitting air special. Luckily, the air special freeze was enough to get my kill anyway. Fortunately, I don't have enough meter, but that doesn't matter too much in this matchup. Ooh, I might have been a little bit too fast on my uh, movement there, thinking he might not jump, but looks like he jumped right in time. Oh, I thought I might be able to catch the roll landing there, but just a little bit outside. In any case, I'm able to catch him trying to go for the sword. With kick factor here, I'm trying to be probably going to be aggressive. Yep. Just that extra speed afforded by kick factor makes you really, really strong, and sometimes it's hard not to just move forward and attack. That's that's why when you're getting kick factor as fencer, it's not as good just because you don't get that speed. All you do is get a alternate win condition. Let's see if tech back stays with fencer here. Looks like he's switching to a different character. Nice to meet you. Go for Looks like tech back is man, going with Uncle I Sensei. Select your gems. Select your duds. Um, I'm sticking with kick jam here. I don't necessarily need the height. Uh, having extra speed against uh, an extra movement against Uncle Sensei is actually pretty good. Normally, against Uncle Sensei, you want to do a little bit high mid attacks, but that'll really depend on who we roll as a character. Round one. All right, looks like it's S kill. I'm gonna go ahead and stay back, be defensive, build up that meter. And if uh, he ever comes in with that slow kick, I can use my uh, double jump to cleanly get away from him. Ooh. <laughs> I surprised myself with who I was, and it looks like I surprised Tack back with who came in a little bit too close to. That was Mark Man, by the way. I'm also Sensei now. I get a good turnaround, but a little bit too slow. I get the freeze, though, and I miss the kick, but uh, able to kick him after he lands. Alright, looks like I'm as kill again. Building slowly, watching out to see if he does that kick. I push him back with the uh, air special. I most likely that air special was an input error because uh, sometimes it does come out when I'm trying to build up too quickly. Uh, one of the things I like to do as S kills get kick factor and then use my teleport jumps to keep them at bay, and then maybe uh, wait till the next round and hopefully I start, start the next round with kick factor. Even if we uh, tie, uh, not tie, but even if we go to line and I lose, I'll start the next round with kick factor. Looks like I'm able to win that last one though. Uh, this next match is against uh, Surge, and unfortunately Surge and uh, and our connection wasn't that great. Um, so you kind of see like the menu here where it's kind of moving, uh, really choppy, <laughs> choppily, and that's going to be throughout the match. So if you're, uh, if that's tough for you to watch, you might want to uh, check out here. But if you want to see how basically sometimes we run into players, uh, with less than capable internet and uh, it might just be that day or it might be a constant thing, but either way, it's something that you kind of have to deal with as you play. Um, and you kind of see that my character moves very smoothly here, but you'll notice that uh, Surge as Fencer will be very choppy. I only see him like basically not really. I don't see the beginning of his jump. I just see him in the air immediately, um, and I'm gonna have to deal with it. So, in particular, Fencer on lag is 
pretty tough to play against um, just because he's very quick and uh, since he moves in a choppy step or he has very uh, large chunky steps when you're playing on a very good connection you can be able to exploit that but when you're not you aren't able to see that startup and it makes it really hard to kind of counterplay against Spencer so what I'm going to do here is I'm probably just going to stay back, um, try to defend sword as much as I can. Um, normally I'm tempted to be offensive, but since I don't really have any openings that I can rely on, I'll be able to stick to my defensive play pretty well. Um, but I'll try to play kind of what I would think as as high, high probability kicks, where if I see him moving forward, I can try to get a kick in. Ooh, there's a roll back there. Ooh, ground special. That is one thing that um, can work in this matchup. If I see him go for kick factor, I can throw a ground special to stop him from trying to pass me with an extra spot where he can get frozen. But yeah, I think I'm just going to stay back. I'm going to build that meter. I'm going to take it to the line if I have to. Since uh, playing the reaction game with him coming in is a little bit harder when I can't see him jump. Um, and so maybe just building meter, waiting for line is probably my best line here. Again, yeah, apologize if you have to watch this as as it's being choppy. It's gonna be like this for the whole set, so uh, please buckle in or or exit now. <laughs> All right, looks like I'm Kung here, just kind of staying back, waiting for him to do something. Um, if it is laggy, Kung can be a frightening uh, character to fight too, because they can do a, a really quick kick and you might not even see it start up. Oof. I was trying to chase him down there since I got kick factor, but uh, fortunately I uh, kicked out on my approach. Oh, oh, there's a roll back there. Alright, just staying back again. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Um, once I do have meter for air special, um, doing an air special attack can be a somewhat high probability as well since I'm not really committing to an attack and if he tries to punish me I'm gonna be always uh, moving into my uh, my air special enemy so the air special will hit him or the delay will be enough to counter attack him. I'm able to get this first match but we'll see if I can uh, continue that. Yes, from above! Oh, looks like I'm uh dive? Yeah. Or maybe kick. Yep, just stand back here. I think I was trying to uh, just build meter and then try to stand and wait for him to throw it. In either case, even if he throws it, it'll be behind me and even if I get hit, that's kind of what I want. I just want to separate him from a sword. So now that he's separate, I'm just going to stay back and try to defend the sword. There it is. Oh man, such a bad approach. I probably thought I can catch him, but uh, that's not necessarily reliable. I need to get a little bit closer there. Just enough uh, to get out of the way and get a counter kick as he tries to go for a, goes for, uh, go for a sword there. Oh, that looked like a kill, but apparently uh, our computers weren't synced up, and I got a bit, big fat rollback there. All right, he throws his sword high. It doesn't hit me. I'm totally fine, although I am losing to, to kicks here. Oh, I thought I had that kill there. Turn around. Oh. <laughs> That turnaround felt really good. Unfortunately, he was not there when I uh, when I came through. Looks like Sensei. Yep, that's the uh, classic. Just throw my uh, my air special, and then tr hopefully the counter the delayed kick will kick something. Hopefully, I can finish this off. Oh, stream! I should be able. To oh no. <laughs> Uh, what I wanted to do there was I wanted to come in with a drill kick uh, and then use the air special to reset it to basically chase him all the way to the corner. Unfortunately, I flubbed the inputs and uh, end up doing an early, early air special, which...
basically put me in a bad position when I went for an attack. One one though. Ooh, a little bit of rollback there. Another rollback. All right, looks like it's settled down. All right, time to see if I can build meter. Dodge that sword. I, I did so. All right, let's go ahead and just build some meter now. See him jumping. Let's wait for line. If one line comes up, I'm gonna throw my bullet at him and then come in. Oh, I got a little bit too close. <laughs> I was hoping to be on the line there and not via tie, but uh, I'll take it. That's fine. I'll get it next time. As you can see, I'm kind of just kicking where he would be able to kick to. And just stand back. Looks like he's fine with staying as well. Oh, there it is. Basically, as he jumps, there's a certain area that if he kicks, like, kind of near the top of the jump, that's where he's going to be. And I'm just going to protect that space. Oh, I get caught in a bad jump there. Good timing by Surge. About to get kick factor here. I don't know if I'm just going to stand and wait for him to throw a sword. Or activate kick factor. Looks like I did. Am I going to come in or am I going to be patient? Looks like I can't I come in. All right. Maybe I'll be patient here since my kick factor isn't uh, coming. So just keeping the camera wall from um, from uh, allowing Fencer to get his sword. Going to go ahead and play for line. I had enough height there to kind of just jump high enough. And looks like Surge came in a little too early. I was able to kick, land, and get another kick in. Looks like that's uh, redacted. I kind of rushed down protecting the sword. But it doesn't look like I'm very successful. He's able to pick up his sword, and I'm still missing a few times where I actually get a kill. <laughs> Oops, stream. This one's going to be a little bit harder, I stream, to... Uh, he's pretty slow, and getting stream to move in a particular way uh, requires a lot more precise button presses, and uh, doing it on a choppy screen is a bit harder. Oh, he's trying to get a sword again. I'm just going to go ahead and back him up. Oh, I was looking for the uh, the lightning kick. Unfortunately, I was going to try to do it uh, when I didn't have uh, kick factor. <laughs> Even then, it looked like I caught up to him a couple times there, but I get a little bit of the rollback kills. I get a nice kick factor kick there. I wonder if he was waiting to throw a sword and didn't see me go in for the, the kill. Fortunately, I'm not using my uh, my turnaround kicks there or my air special. Um, probably felt like I could just come in uh, and hopefully the speed beat enough, but uh, it was not enough. And it uh, looks like I ca he catches me trying to build a meter or at least uh, trying to defend that one spot. And he's up 2-1. Little bit of a uh, <laughs> connection uh, graphic there. But we go into the uh, fourth game. One, die, that looks like I'm dive. Yeah, I'm able to dodge a sword just by standing. Actually, that's kick. Yep, dodge a sword again. Able to hit him out of the roll. All right, just gonna go ahead and back up. Use that camera wall to defend. Oh, looks like I'm. <laughs> Jafali is actually a pretty good lag-based character as well. Um, if you get a boom kick set up, you can try to hit him um, at the line, and it'll be really hard to to see him if it is choppy on your side. Uh, it might be hard to see you come in with a boom kick. <laughs> oh, Mark, man, not my favorite stance here. Ooh, able to win the trade though against Fencer, which. Uh, Fencer does have a small hitbox, so foot-to-foot uh, -foot interactions will lean towards the opponent. Alright, looks like a little bit of a stream. Maybe I should just try to get kick factor here. Yep. I get it. Here comes a missile. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I thought that hit and I just went forward carelessly, but I get caught because of the rollback. <laughs> Ooh, I actually thought he had me there, but I guess I was uh, just enough, uh, just far enough away. He's about to get kicked back here. He can't use it to get a sword, or he's gonna. Oh, yeah, I guess he uses it to get a sword. 
All right, I kick past him. He's having trouble moving forward. Um, I'm gonna just gonna have to chase him down and build up meter. He's probably got that win no matter what. There's no way Sensei is gonna catch him as he uh, tries to move up. I just wait for him to throw a sword here. Oh no, I'm stream again. <laughs> Alright, looks like I'm just gonna go ahead and build it up. Go for a uh, kick factor. Alright, there it is. I got my missiles going. Oh no. I was trying to set up a double kill or a uh, high low attack. Looks like he comes in um, as I'm trying to set it up. I get stuck and he hits me out of the air with a nice kick. Alright, he threw a sword, missed. Now I'm just going to stick, stay back and if he's not going to move forward, I'm going to go ahead and just build up a little meter, wait for line. And then uh, use my little bit of uh, uh, air, air special as I come in. There you go. If he jumps, he's going to get frozen, so either way, I'm going to take line there. Wins. If he jumps too early, I can punish him. Um, if he jumps too late, then he's going to get hit by the bullet. So that was a pretty good timing on my end to throw that bullet in there. Here comes the connection graphic again. All right, looks like we're going to the last uh, game of this match. Hopefully I can pull this out. Round one, die kick! <laughs> Oh, gets the roll in. I probably need. I probably should be backing up here and staying still. Yep. <laughs> I go for just a charge, waiting for him to come in. I think I was. I saw him come in, and I was a bit too close for my charge. I was just gonna kick for far away and use the camera wall to stop him from getting a sword. But uh, he ends up jumping into my kick, which was pretty nice. Oof. That was a bad. Uh, a bad air special, and then after the freeze, I wasn't sure I was able to get a kill, so I just stood still um, and made him uh, basically sail over me. Ooh, I <laughs> oh my god, one foot! I used the uh, the homing bullet to attack line again, and uh, as he kicks into me, the bullet freezes him, preventing him from kicking me and keep him in, keeping him one foot away from the line, which is really really good. That was a good attack, though, by Surge. Um, he's able to get his sword and start the round with the sword again. Oh, looks like I'm Sensei. He comes in a little too hard, I just kick him. Oh, it looks like I'm uh, s kill now. I did have enough meter for uh, air specials, just going in for the, the, the regular... Um, Mid-air air special freeze. Looks like I'm <laughs> Kung. And that was a bit of a calculated risk there. Uh, sometimes it's hard to see Kung uh, when internet is a bit choppy because she has that, uh, that quick kick. So I just tried to go for a quick cheeky kick there. Fortunately, uh, Fencer was already in the air and gets me with a headshot. Um, able to hit me with a sword on uh, on this next round, uh, but not close enough to the line for him to get the sword again. Looks like I'm uh, Markman now and able to get that last kill to finish off the set. Pretty tough matchup, but you kind of have to deal with internet issues as they come. And uh, even then, I hope that Surge's internet uh, gets clear so we can play again. Alright, thanks.